Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 was when Kennedy faced off with Premier Khrushchev of the Soviet Union. See, back in 59, Cuba's Revolutionary War had made them a tiny communist country right near the U.S. shore. And that same year, the U.S. had made a deal on Turkey's border to put U.S. nukes in Turkey to fire into Russia on our order. So fast forward to October 1962 again. Soviet nukes are found in Cuba, like ours in Turkey right near them. And the chiefs of staff told JFK that this was a good occasion to get rid of Cuba's new government with a big U.S. invasion. But Kennedy said no, because those nukes were awfully frightening. If we strike Cuba, he said, Russia might think attacking us would be the right thing. And that could lead to nuclear war, and of all options, that's the worst. So Kennedy said before invading Cuba, let's try something else first. And so one night on TV, he announced the plan he'd made. We'd stop Soviet shipments to Cuba with a big naval blockade. But when Khrushchev got that message, he said, You're risking war! You can't just stop our boats, he said. This blockade, we will ignore. And when the U.S. got that message, the night of October 23, defense went up to DEFCON 2, the highest nuclear alert in history. That meant that the U.S. was just one step from launching its nuclear weapons. And as the blockade began blocking boats, nobody knew what would happen. Just then, a Soviet agent named Foman in the States had an idea. He said, let's try to trade before this escalates. Foman said if the U.S. promised to leave Cuba alone, maybe the Soviets could promise to take those defensive missiles home. And then Khrushchev tried a better deal to make a missile recall work. He said the U.S. should leave Cuba and take their nukes out of Turkey. So Kennedy agreed to never invade Cuba. And he also secretly agreed to take those nukes off of Turkish land. That part was kept a secret so Kennedy could still look tough. But the fact was that both leaders thought things had gone quite far enough. Kennedy was killed in 63, Khrushchev lost power in 64, and that's the closest the world has ever come yet to a nuclear war.